What's up legends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm testing the GR electric skateboard that Lycaon has sent me. I'm frothing to try another electric skateboard. Let's go open her up and jump right into it. You can see the box, it looks super nice. Life is a wonderful ride, 100%. But I believe you open it up from the side. Look at that. Yum. Okay, I just cut my finger open on this cardboard. So be careful. But here is the skateboard. Oh, baby, look at this thing. How sick does that look? Then you can see it's got the big battery pack and then the motors on this side. The first thing I'm noticing is like this grip tape is so thick and that also comes with this accessory box. So it's got the big charger and the tiny user's manual. The remote, all right, this is scratched up. So they've obviously tested it out. So this would be to charge the remote. And then it comes with the T tool with like a little Allen key to do the wheels with. We are turned on. All right, so now she's on. You see that? 39 kilometers an hour. We'll have to test that out. All right, so we're on the pro mode and we're just gonna test her out. See how it feels. I love how good the deck feels. It does go over bumps a bit weird. You kind of got to brace yourself. It feels really good. Watch out for pedestrians. Let's test it out. Going around the park. Oh! Yeah, I like how the acceleration and then the braking isn't extremely sudden. I think that's where the Posway electric skateboard went wrong. <laughs> okay, maybe it does break a bit quick. All right guys, so I quickly want to go over some specs of the skateboard. The top speed you'll be able to get at is 38 kilometers an hour. Obviously this is going to vary depending on your weight and yeah, the slope you're on. The top speed in each mode, so it has four speed settings, low, medium, high and pro. Low mode you'll be able to hit 20 kilometers an hour. Medium you'll be able to hit 30 kilometers an hour. High mode you'll be able to get 36 kilometers an hour. Pro mode 38 kilometers an hour, but the pro mode accelerates quicker. That's the difference between the pro and the high. The range you'll be able to get out of the skateboard is 24 to 30 kilometers. Again, this is going to depend on your weight and other variables. Hill climbing, it says 30%. I feel like I've gone up gradients way more than 30%. You're not going to go very fast, but they can still get up like very steep hills at like 10 kilometers an hour or so. Now the deck itself is made of eight ply Canadian maple. Again, I'm no expert, but it feels really nice quality. Now for the dimensions. So the length of the skateboard is 94 centimeters. The width is 23 centimeters and the thickness is 1.2 centimeters. The ground clearance, it is 10.6 centimeters above the ground, plenty of space. The weight of the board is 8.6 kilos. This is the same weight as my other electric skateboard, but this one feels way lighter. Maybe it's just the design, how it's like evenly balanced. And then the max load or human who can go on it is 100 kilos and the wheels are 90 
18 millimeter PU. And for the charging time, it's gonna take about three to four hours. Okay, now regarding the price of the GR2021 electric skateboard, full price, they're asking 460 US dollars, which I converted to 680 Australian dollars. But they do have a big sale on the moment where you can get almost $100 off, which brings it down to 365 US dollars or 541 Australian dollars. So we're gonna be loosening the truck. So I just wanna see what the carving is like and how it operates when it's a bit looser. So we're gonna do that now. We don't want it to be too loose yet, so we'll just start with that. Let's give this a go. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely feels like way looser. I like that. I'm always scared I'm gonna like put it too loose. That feels good. Now let's see what it's like going really fast. So the turning circle is definitely better with the looser trucks. I like that. Now I can like carve a bit more. And guys, I have to go over safety. These boards are pretty scary. Going 40 kilometers an hour on a skateboard. You should definitely have all the pads, definitely wear a helmet. Like it is so dangerous. I am a trained professional. No, but I feel quite comfortable on it, so that's why I don't, and I'm not doing anything ridiculous. All I'm doing is pretty much going straight for brief moments at the top speed, so please be careful, guys. So, I just want to talk about some of the likes and dislikes. Um, I love the overall feel of the board. I love the design. I think it looks so nice. I love the grip tape. It's really thick and rough, so it feels super grippy. Board is so flexy, like when you jump on it, it's so springy and responsive. So the overall design and feel of the board, absolutely love. It doesn't really feel tacky at all. It definitely does feel the bumps, but I think there's so many different sets of wheels you can actually purchase on their website. So. I'm sure they'll have the ones suited to fix that problem. The speed settings, I can't complain there at all. Like 40 kilometers an hour is actually really scary. So it definitely does not need to be any faster. The one thing I will pick on is the low setting still goes like 20 to 24 kilometers an hour, which I think is really fast. So I think they should drop that down to like 10 or 15. I do really like the remote as well. Super responsive, just like the last electric skateboard I had. super grateful to like him for sending me the GR 2021 edition it's been so much fun ah. all right guys that is a wrap if you did make it this far leave a comment saying pizza just some random word to confuse everyone and then I know that you guys made it to the end so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one